Hi guys, I'm Shmi and today I'm at the Audi Forum in Neckarsulm in Germany because today I'm taking a look at this brand new car. This is the Audi S8 Plus. It was revealed at the Frankfurt Motor Show just a month or two ago and today is the dynamic test drive. So the first opportunity to come along for the press to take a drive and test out the new car, the new S8 Plus. The big, big feature with this car is that the power has been bumped from 520 horsepower up to 605. 605 horsepower, 750 newton meters of torque. Those are really quite big numbers. And that comes from the four liter twin turbo V8 that you find up front. Now, of course, this particular car is a very high specification. You can see it's got the Florent Silver matte paint finish, which is a 5,000 euro option. The car itself starts in the mid 140s in euros, 143,000 or so euros. And we're looking at a car with a very nice specification. So the dynamic package, the ceramic brakes, um, the adaptive uh, active sports exhaust system. We've got the carbon fiber boot lid spoiler. I'm going to show you on the inside too, where there's again, continued very, very high spec in this car so let's take a quick look one of my favorite things i'm going to jump straight to is the carbon fiber trim with the red twill if i come close you can probably just about see this the sort of red finish inside the carbon fiber looks lovely and goes with the red contrast stitching and the seat finish um, we've got the sports seats with all sorts of heating ventilation um, all the controls you'd expect and come to know. We've got the Bang & Olufsen Hi-Fi system with the tweeters that rise up out of the dashboard. Um, actually, if I come around to the other side, no, before I get to the other side, let's show you the back. Um, it's very, very, very spacious back here. I'll do a full, sort of more in-depth look around the car uh, slightly further on through the video after I've taken it for a short drive. Um, talk about all the buttons and all the options and settings and things and what you can find in here. Um, but it's, it's pretty luxurious um, and built for, I guess, blasting the German autobahns uh, as part of that dynamic package with the ceramic brakes. You also get the top speed raised from 250 kilometers an hour to 305, 305 kilometers an hour top speed. Now, what you'll notice as I pull the door closed is how quiet it's going to get. It would help if I actually pulled the door closed. And the noise of all those passing cars has gone. Of course, the A8 is a spectacular machine. Um, and the S8 being the top spec version is wonderful. Um, so I've got the key in my pocket. Let me just show you that quickly. Um, Audi key, S8 badge on the back. Keep that in my pocket. Foot on the brake and start the car. Comes into life, the screen folds up. You can put the screen away. Oh, let me turn the radio off and bring it back out again. The Audi MMI system, which has the Google Maps sort of um, satellite view. Oh, we don't want to play with telephone. Uh, there we go. Um, so Google Maps traffic, all of that kind of stuff. We've got all sorts of technology features in this car. Um, all sort of hot spotting and night vision. Night vision is this button here. Will that turn on? There we go. That's kind of funny. Um, I'm going to play through all of that further on, just for the moment, a quick sort of high level, what are we looking at? Music, phone, nav settings, trip type information. The dash is actually quite nice with these sort of two dials either side, slightly pointed in towards you with the digital display in the center. Uh, we've got four zone climate control, um, lots of storage and space for things, and these boxes, arms that open up with all sorts of cables for iPods and that kind of stuff in there. Um, and the Bang & Olufsen tweeters. Actually, I'm going to turn it off again just so you can see the tweeters and you can see the screen doing what they do. All right, out we get, and they go away. Come back in. And the magic happens. <laughs> it's quite funny. Um, yeah, so, that's a quick introduction to the interior of the S8 um, here. So I think it's time I jump in and take this for a, well, I'm already sat in. I just realized how silly that sounds. I think it's time that we get on the move and take it for a short little drive.
in the car then and the first thing is of course that this is a really really comfortable place to be sat the seats have huge levels of adjustability you can move everything lumbar heating ventilation everything you could possibly imagine wanting you've got a nice display in front of you i'm going to obviously show you through all of that and all the different settings and everything you've got in there um, but it's a pretty good place to start from really i think you know the a8 is such a good car that you kind of know what the s8 is in for um, the difference though now is the power and the controls and the sort of dynamic ability that this car has on top of that Most of which of course is controlled through Audi's drive select which is done through the car button here Where you've got all the drive select modes the pre-configured solutions efficiency comfort auto and dynamic And then the individual setting where you can individually customize a series of different things So you've got the engine and gearbox the air suspension dynamic steering sport differential engine sound and the adaptive cruise control so individual here at the moment is set up for a mixed balance of auto and dynamic but we've got the uh, the noisy stuff in loud which is obviously what we want the engine sound mode um, but if I go back out of setting individual put it straight into dynamic you can immediately feel it's just dropped the gear straight away ready to pounce a little bit more obviously we're in the town so I can't do anything crazy at the moment um, but good to have those settings I'm going to put it back on the nav because Audi have given us a couple of predefined routes that we can take. Uh, so we've got a short little test drive route that we're on right now um, that should take us down a couple of nice roads and get to test out the ability of the car um, in different environments um, and see how well it does. Uh, we've obviously got all the sort of convenience features that you get now on luxury cars, the head-up displays, the nice big navigation system. Uh, this car is very highly equipped, so we've got quad zone climate control, um, all the sort of lane lane assist to hold you in your lane, um, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, just about everything you could possibly imagine ever wanting. Box, you've got um, paddles on the back of the, uh, the gearbox that you, on the back of the steering wheel. Sorry that you can press to uh, flip it down some gears. Very very quick, and then you get some rumbles and burbles. I'll have to show you more of that in due course. Um, on the steering wheel you have the controls for your navigation and you know going through the different modes so your trip speed thingy your uh, uh, music settings your phone and then over to the nav screen and that all works very familiarly as you will know if you've been in or near any recent Audi they're all very consistent um, so initially very nice place to be uh, I've tried the hi-fi, the music is very good, the quality from the Bang & Olufsen stereo, as you'd expect, is absolutely top-notch. Uh, but I'm just going to take it for a little bit of a drive and see where we get to. With a slightly more open stretch of road, let me make sure we're in sport mode, yes we are, and downshift a couple of gears so you can hear the noise this car makes. You get that like rumbling kind of crackle when you lift off. There we go, maybe if I drop the window a touch, let's see if you can hear that. <laughs> Perhaps it's artificial, but it's fun, and it sounds good, and then you've got the noise of the V8 there. It's not too invasive, downshifts too, so it's not too much in your face, it's just nice to have that in the background when you're driving the car, I think. Um, the performance point of view, the car pulls really, really quite hard, I mean you'd expect that, 750 newton meters of torque, but really, when you put your foot down, um, it certainly pushes you hard into the back of your seat in a way you might not necessarily have been expecting it. Yep, it's got plenty of go. Okay, let's experience this. There's no question it has more than enough pull. You'd certainly expect that with the power the car has. I get some downshifts just because I think really the majority of customers for an S8 are probably going to drive it in a much more normal automatic mode on the gearbox, not so much pushing it to make as much noise as possible. But it really does excel in that area just because it's, it's so good to drive, it's so bang on, accurate, what you sort of think that the car is going to do. Obviously it's not a sports car, it's a luxury four seat saloon car. Um, but for that, it doesn't feel like you're carrying anywhere near the weight um, that you probably are. Um, steering sort of fairly nice and relaxing um, but when you're sort of driving through the corners is isn't bad either um, braking is incredibly impressive we've got the ceramic brakes so when you stamp your foot on 
Um, we're definitely coming to a stop very, very quickly. Um, and general sort of feel of the car, it's really refined, it's very quiet, it's very luxurious. Um, looking around you, you've got all the carbon fiber, the stitching, the different materials, the Alcantara headliner, um, sort of look of the Bang & speakers. Just, it's just a really, really nice place to be. And then if you do want to be a little bit uh, boisterous with it, drop the gears down to second. And away it goes. <laughs> Absolutely flies away. Brilliant. The gearbox in here is an eight-speed Tiptronic, so not the usual kind of S-Tronic double clutch from Audi. The Tiptronic gearboxes have just got so good. Um, and obviously you can use the paddles, drop it down some gears, super responsive, does a brilliant job. Um, not much more to say on that front, really. Um, eight speed, so clearly very efficient at the top end, hence the top speed of 305 kilometers per hour in this car. Um, and I guess very quick, hence why it can do not to 100 kilometers an hour, 62 miles an hour in just 3.8 seconds. By way of a conclusion then for this car, it's clearly exceptionally comfortable and it's also very, very quick. It has that sort of comfortable cruiser kind of feel to it, exactly what you think this car's aiming for and the sort of spot in the market that they are targeting um, by releasing it. 605 horsepower is a lot. Um, the noise is quite nice, but then again, it's also very quiet and comfortable and refined, which is also the side they're going for. So it's a, it's a pretty good sort of daily cruiser package if that's the kind of car you're looking for, all wrapped up in a very, very nice way. Hey, look, we've got a little bit of a tunnel. Let's pop it into neutral. Oh, that's quite nice. Not bad, not bad. Off we go. Obviously, a very important test with a car like this is the Autobahn. That's pretty much where this car is the most at home. And there are no guarantees that we're not going to have a lot of traffic, but we can at least try and have some fun and see what we're able to do and how comfortable this car is when you get it up to, well, a little bit more speed, a little bit more um, where it's built to be refined and quiet. Uh, but we do, unfortunately, have a very, very busy Autobahn right now. Unfortunately, it does not look like I'm going to get a clear run on the Autobahn, so no trying out going over 200 plus today. I've had a few runs up to near 200 very briefly, but just not been able to catch them on camera. And when you get to that speed, the car is exceptionally well refined. It holds together very nicely and it's so comfortable. I'm also sat here with the massaging seats on, um, which is a nice little bonus for a long drive like we have now, an hour and a half, two hours back to the airport. Um, so this is kind of working out okay at the end of the day. Um, I think the car is clearly built for this purpose, for blasting the autobahns in a very nice way. I just wish I was able to test it out, but at the speeds I have been going, you know, even right now we're sat at 150 kilometers per hour, it's not exactly a bad place to be at all. Back at the Audi Forum, and I'm going to show you around the car in a little bit more detail, but first up, let's get started with the engine. Let's take a look at this. Um, let me get inside, just pull the lever to open it up. So up here is the four litre twin turbo V8 TFSI. As I have mentioned, of course, 605 brakes, 750 Newton meters. Those are big, big numbers. Still only 235 grams CO2. So that's a pretty impressive number too. Um, and fuel economy, the European way is 10 litres per 100 kilometres, which is not too bad. Not sure of the uh, UK MPG uh, figure itself, but it's quite good, as you would expect, um, with all the sort of latest Audi technologies going into there. And it looks very nice too. Let's just shut that down. The paintwork is awesome. I love this uh, satin finish, but it is a 5,000 euro option or so. Um, so not for the faint hearted. We'll take a look around the interior where you've basically got a mixture of lots of different premium materials. So you've got all the leather with the red contrast, you've got the Alcantara um, that extends through the headliner and the A-pillars as well. Um, you've got the silver finish on the Bang & Olufsen systems, and of course you've got this carbon fiber on the inlays, which is all very, very nice. Oh, before I step in quickly, the seats. You've got the, con the diamond sort of quilting with the ventilation, heating of course, 
um, very, very nicely padded and uh, good side bolstering and support and lots and lots of different controls um, for all the movements um, and the lumbar support settings as well. Um, everything down there. So I step in, let's pull the door closed on us here. We've got a storage cubby hole here on the doors, which I actually, actually really nice. I even like opening and closing that. Um, on the left, we've got our seat controls, um, seat saving settings, memory settings, um, the windows, uh, mirrors, auto folding. Um, they'll only fold if I've got the ignition on, so let's just start that up. Get the ignition running, um, the folding mirrors, fold sort of upwards. Oh, let me just turn off the radio. Um, so that all works as you would expect it. And down here, uh, we've got a number of controls. The night vision stands out, fog lights, um, normal lights, the head-up display control, uh, the brightness of the dials as well. Um, there, on the steering wheel itself, you've got controls here to take you through the different menus and pretty much anything you could want up from the uh, MMI navigation system you can have up here and the center, central digital display, along with lots of information down at the bottom as well. And you can control and go through the sort of settings and things um, using these jog dials here. Um, I particularly like on the dashboard the way these dials kind of pivot in towards the driver. I think it gives quite a nice sort of 3D look to it with this sort of floating over the top of the digital displays behind. And then you have the lighting um, to show you the temperatures and the petrol gauge on the right hand side as well, which is quite nice. And then on the right side, you have a couple more controls, um, information button. Navigation is not active. It would, I think it would tell you your next command, voice control, settings and volume as well. Um, and you have the sort of traditional um, Audi paddles on the back of the wheel there too. Um, lights on the left, wipers on the right. Um, adaptive cruise control dial is down here. You have the jog on the top that controls uh, how close you are to the vehicle in front. Um, and that works quite nicely having tested it out too. And if I come over to the centre, um, you have an analogue clock which removes the digital clock. Um, that you'd normally have in the centre here on the uh, MMI display. Uh, so I hope you can still read out all the clocks. Uh, we've got the on and off for the stop start on the engine, um, the button to control and close the screen, traction, um, warning blinkers. On the right, you've got the parking sensors and the button to open and close the rear window blind. Uh, that's all uh, <laughs> pretty self-explanatory. Um, underneath the nav, oh sorry, underneath that first bar you have the four zone climate control, well two zone for the front, um, all the seat heating, the ventilation and heating. Um, then you have the uh, navigation system with your touch interface there, um, the different controls for getting through it and back and then music stuff is over towards the right. Um, so if I just focus on the screen here you can cycle around, go through the different modes, um, you know you have all your different things, so from the car settings where you're configuring how the car um, dynamically sets up your telephone, traffic information, that kind of thing, into the navigation, music, radio, audio settings, and then how do you connect, which is the sort of internet um, online capabilities along with the hotspot for your phone as well. Uh, I'll just bring it straight into nav with the hard core, the, sorry, the hard dedicated button that's here. Um, and you get a pretty nice view with Google Maps, uh, which all works very, very well. If we continue down, you've got the uh, um, gear stick control, obviously for the uh, Tiptronic, uh, park reverse, normal drive sport, to go between drive and sport, you just sort of push it down. Um, electric handbrake, um, automatic whether this is on or not, so when you come to a stop, if you've turned on automatic, it will automatically apply the, the park brake. Uh, we've got some cup holders and an ashtray in there. We've got the armrests, which lift up independently. Um, and we've got a very big glove box as well over here. Lots of stuff can fit in there. Oh, and up top we've got a CD changer I noticed as well, DVD changer. Um, so this is all brilliant. Um, let me jump into the back. Back here again, the luxuries continue, same sort of fit and finish and styling, design. In appearance we've got the shutter blind up on that side so it's quite dark in here but similarly we've got a two sort of two seat layout in the back with a large sort of center console um, with all sorts of different um, bits and pieces so cup holders pop out at the end there it folds back in then we've got a big storage bucket here in the center seat controls in the middle again the heating and ventilation 
Um, we've got controls for the windows and the shutter blinds as well back here. Um, and we've got a through load system into the back for skis and stuff, I suppose. Um, what do we have up here? He says, ah, child seat mounting points. Um, yes, we don't have any of those <laughs> in here to worry about right now. Um, but we've got some nice lighting as well when it comes on up here along the top. Um, and the piano black trim around the top of the seats here. Ashtray at the side. And more speakers. Lots and lots of speakers in here, everywhere. So, yeah, I think this would be a pretty comfortable place to uh, be sat in the back, get on with some work, put your laptop on your lap. Um, nothing to complain about at all. I'm just playing around and pressing things and seeing how it all works. Another little uh, set of cigarette sockets down there. Oh, definitely no shortage. You can plug in about as many things as you could imagine wanting to plug in down here. Brilliant. So, let's leave the car for now. It's been a great first drive with it. Um, here on the Dynamic Press Launch at Neckersholm in Germany. I think it's pretty much a box ticker. It does a fantastic job. Certainly if you lived in Germany and you're cruising the autobahns regularly, this is such a car to do it in. You couldn't really ask for anything more. I've certainly enjoyed driving it and I hope you've enjoyed a quick look around the new Audi S8 Plus. But I'm going to wrap up there for now. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed for all of my other car videos on the Shmi 150 YouTube channel. And I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers. Hi Nick, hello, how are you? Hello, welcome. Thank you very much. Hi, nice to see you. I'm pretty well. excited about today. I can see the car over there. Let's go straight inside.